Our actions and motivations are grounded in narratives and stories. Roles are relative to each other and bound by interdependencies that exist between them. These interdependencies are formed out of the value flows that already occur or could be occurring in the ecosystem. The value flows are expressions of the resource and capabilities that the roles possess, which are as diverse as the roles themselves. In this step, there are two major focus areas. First, framing the motivations is about uncovering the current and potential value flows between the roles. Second, it is also about understanding what's in it for the roles to be active participants in the ecosystem. We have decided that the host, guest, local expert, local business and agent are the most influential roles in the Airbnb ecosystem. By focusing on their interdependencies, you will uncover the most diverse value flows between them. Everybody has something to offer. Hosts invite guests that they never met before to stay in their homes. They give away their unique home and it is unique because people that open up their homes across the globe have unique homes, and in most cases cheaper. This means that savings can be also framed as a value given to a guest. And if hosts give guests some form of review, this will contribute to their reputation and the likelihood of getting a unique place to stay in future. Local experts, on the other hand, design and lead inspiring local activities. They go beyond typical tours or classes by immersing guests in a host's unique world. Hosts thus might give a referral and inspiration to the local experts as a value. Referrals could be also something that hosts bring to local businesses. They would certainly be more than happy to be recommended by hosts to their guests. An agent benefits from hosts in the form of a cheaper destination for guests, which increases the number of travelers reaching out to an agent. The gift to potential can be therefore framed in a form of cheaper destinations. And just like a host gives something of value to guest, local expert, agent or local business, all the other roles give something of value to each other too. Map all current and future value flows that you could see happening. Keep your mind open to see anything interesting. Listen to your ecosystem. What is it telling you? Here is the motivation matrix. Use it to map out the value flows. Write down your five most influential roles, horizontally and vertically. Start filling in the value that flows or could potentially flow between the roles. A guest gives income, feedback and contributes to host's reputation by giving that feedback. The same would be true for the interdependency between the guest and the local expert. An agent gets reach and reputation from a traveling guest, and so does the local business benefit from a guest. Do this exercise for all the roles you selected. Not all of the boxes need to be filled in. A blank box indicates that a role doesn't have anything to give to a role which can be telling in the case the entire row or a column is empty. A 
column represents the value each role gets or potentially could get out of the ecosystem. This is the value that speaks to a role and motivates a role to get to that value. In other words, there is a raison d'être for all the selected roles to be an active player in the ecosystem. Mapping the intrinsic motivation and intention for each role gives more clarity about who the role is. If a role has no reason to participate, then the role will never show up. Hosting can help some people pay for their rents or to save some extra money. For other people truly caring about their guests and hosting because they enjoy meeting the most diverse people means more than just income. They want to attract. These hosts give guests a welcome snack and a drink and may even take them out for a beer. There is a lot to get inspired from when meeting new people. Map the intention and motivation of each role. What is the intrinsic motivation of a role to be an active part of the ecosystem? You can also ask yourself, what is the value for an individual participant to be part of the role's community? Use the diagonal and here all boxes need to be filled in. If there is an empty box, the role won't be interested in participating. In the step that follows, you will validate your strongest relationship, so stay tuned! <laughs>